www.whitewithembroidery.com. Welcome to this week's machine embroidery demo. First up today, I have this stunning freestanding lace Christmas bell. I love freestanding lace. It's just such an elegant, uh, an elegant way of machine embroidery. So you've got the beautiful bell shape with, I love these snowflake stars going around the cute little church. You've got the pathway coming down, then some poinsettias, pine cones, and some pine twigs and everything. It's just beautiful. In this pack, um, there are two sizes. This one is the four by seven, and there's one that's uh, five by almost eight, so a little bit bigger than this one. But I mean, you could stitch uh, the, the uh, poinsettias in any color, or do the whole thing white. There's just so many options when it comes to this beautiful freestanding lace. So again, that is the Christmas bell from Art Embroidery. Okay, next up is the, uh, these hot pads, Christmas hot pads from Kimber Bell. Um, the CD is called That's So Chanel Christmas Hot Pads. There are six different designs. There's a uh, peppermint, a present, um, a ho ho ho, uh, a snowman, a Santa, and a snowflake. So here are some of the examples I've got. Look how cute this Santa is. Oh, so his, his mustache is all Chanel. The tops of his um, hat is. We've got some fun fringe on the, on the ball of his hat. And then, I mean, look at the snowflake in the present. They're just so pretty. I love Chanel. I love the Chanel technique. Now, you don't have to use a design. You can just simply make some hot pads with no design, again, they're all done in the hoop, all the quilting's done in the hoop, add some fun, fun holiday fabric, and you've got some really functional, um, amazing hot pads. Now, all the designs come in five sizes, um, from extra small to extra large. Um, I believe these are the large size. Um, so you've got a really nice array of sizes. Um, but I mean, who would not love this in their Christmas kitchen? Oh, they're just so, so, so cute. Okay, next up is this amazing red work. So, uh, there, it's Christmas, or it's red work, Christmas, and elves. So, there are 12 designs uh, around Christmas, and then 10 designs uh, that are elves. And so, this one, she used the Chanel um, hot pad uh, from Kimberbell, but then she stitched the uh, red work tree on it. So she was still able to make the hot pad in the hoop and everything, but changed out the design to the red work tree. But look how cute these are. I mean, the Santa, I love the addition of just some fun, fun Christmas fabric. Again, a tree, gingerbread, and a candy cane. I mean, they're just simple designs, but really, really beautiful. I love these. Okay, so this pack is paired with some Hemingworth thread. We've got Christmas green, true blue, antique silver, Christmas red, old gold, and pure purple. So no matter what your uh, color, your decor for Christmas is, you can do them in green work or red work or, you know, silver work. <laughs> Whatever color you want to accent with these, it's totally, totally awesome. Okay, so that is the red work Christmas um, design pack and thread set. Okay, next up, is this Kimberbell's Christmas Wishes. So um, again, in this one, there are five designs. Um, and you can make all kinds of things. You can make banners. Um, I mean, there's, you know, the candy cane wishes, mistletoe kisses, you know, a candy cane, a tree, cute little Christmas tree, or this May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And look, she added it to an apron here. Let me take it down. So just added it to this cute, cute apron, and then with the, um, the bulbs, um, added glitter flecks. So they're nice and sparkly. I mean, hello, spend the day in your cute little fun apron on Christmas, and just, ugh, I think it's so, so cute. So that is Christmas Wishes from Carabelle. Okay, so I have another freestanding lace. Look at these antique stars. Oh my goodness, I love these. These would be beautiful on your tree. Um, they'd be beautiful, um, 
you know, maybe with some twinkle lights and, and add them as garland um, to any of your, you know, your mantle, your banished, or any of your, you know, Christmas decor. Um, the one thing I love, love, love about this is so like on this one, you know, it's all done in one color, which is amazing. It's beautiful. But look how changing up some of the coloring, um, it like changes how you see the design. You, you pick out pieces that you normally wouldn't, you know. You see the detail just a little bit better than you would if it was all done in white. I mean, like, oh, they're just so, so pretty. So I paired this with some Hemingworth pastels. We've got Snowflake, Soft Petal, Icicle Blue, Moonlight, Ocean Spray, and Ice Blue. So you've got, you know, all of these pastels where you can, you know, accentuate the different pieces of these designs, of these stars, um, just to make them that much more special. So I love these. I think, again, they'd be beautiful in a garland, you know, hanging on your mantle, even on a tree. It's just beautiful. Okay, so finally, oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute this table runner is. Oh my goodness. So this was done with holiday treats and cookies. So they're the adorable recipes. We've got peppermint cookies, um, Sprite, Spritz cookies, <laughs> gingerbread cookies. And so she stitched them all and then made this adorable table runner. I mean, it's just so cute. I love the addition of the... Christmas fabric and I mean the striping it's just so so cute a fun way to use these I mean crazy designs fun fun designs these recipes um, for your table setting now we also have some dish towels that she had done you know uh, what are, what's this one butter balls this one's chocolate covered pretzels for just some fun fun dish towels that you know Again, accentuate your holiday cooking, your holiday Christmas, your holiday kitchen, you know? I mean, it's just so much fun. So I've paired this with some Hemingway thread as well. Candy apple, true blue, goldenrod, meadow, toasted almond, and orange slice. So some really fun, fun Christmas colors to just accentuate these amazing recipes and designs. So, Okay, well that is it for this week's machine embroidery demo. Head on over to my machine embroidery blog on embroidery.com. I will have close-up pictures of all the projects I've shown you here today, as well as links to their design packs and thread sets. Um, make sure you turn your notifications on, because that's how you'll know a new video is up. As always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!